In this video, we are going to unbox the latest smartwatch from Huawei, the Huawei Watch GT2 Pro. Hello guys, this is Michael Pedimonte, again your Lost Visaya boy. And as I've said in the intro, we are going to unbox the Huawei GT2 Pro smartwatch. We already unboxed this at the Huawei store, and for the sake of this video, we are going to re-unbox it for you guys. This comes in a black minimalist box with gold accent, and as you open the box, you'll get to see the smartwatch with a very elegantly designed paper flap. Look at that matte black and gold. And as you flip the flap, <laughs> tongue twister, it uncovers the compartment for the accessories that comes in with the package. First, the GT2 Pro with its black fluoroelastometer strap. Now look at that titanium watch case topped with a sapphire glass. More of that later, but now let's go ahead and check what's in the other compartment. We'll take out first the charging cradle to charge your smartwatch wirelessly and the USB-C charging cable. Next to come out is the warranty card and the user guide and safety information booklet. That's all there is for the contents of the box. At dahil maarte po tayo, i-arrange natin sila. Parang pangit. Wait lang. Ay, bahala na nga. And of course, we'll try to connect the smartwatch to our smartphone. Sana all smart. But I have here a Huawei P20 Pro, which still has a Google Play Store. For those Huawei users who do not have an access to Google Play Store, you can download the Huawei Health app from Huawei App Gallery. I have pre-connected this watch to this phone, so we'll just reconnect it. First, we'll have to turn on the Bluetooth and click Connect. Alright, we are connected, and once you are in, this is the user interface of the Huawei Health app for Android phones. You have the option to store and manage music to your smartwatch and independently listen from your smartwatch without third-party music application. From here, you can also manage your watch faces and download from a plethora of choices that suit your preference and style. You can also download applications for your smartwatch, like the calculator, the offline map navigation, just to name a few. In here, you can also view the status of your watch, like the battery life, your downloaded smartwatch faces, your health monitoring results, and health monitoring settings. You can also add your favorite contacts to your smartwatch from this app. For the notifications, you'll be able to turn on and connect the notifications of your favorite apps from your smartphone to your smartwatch. And I think that's all for the quick run-through of the Huawei Health app for Android. Now let's go ahead and check the Huawei Health app in the iOS. First is we are going to add and connect our smartwatch to our Apple device. You can scan a QR code generated from the smartwatch for easier connection. Oops, parallax. The next thing is to turn our Bluetooth on and find the GT2 Pro in the available devices. Follow the next steps to pair your phone and your smartwatch. Alright, we are paired. For the iOS, we can also add or download and manage watch faces for the GT2 Pro. Just like the Android version, we have a plethora of options to choose from, depending on your preference and style. Now, comparing the home screens of the Huawei Health app between an Android and an iPhone. Functionalities like adding or managing your music and downloading applications for your smartwatch is not available in the iOS. We just hope in the future na sana ma-maximize na ng Apple users ang functionalities ng GT2 Pro. In this juncture, we'll wear the smartwatch over my oddly thin wrist and try it on. 
Swiping up will let you check the notifications from your favorite apps. And swiping down will let you see the quick settings panel, just like in your smartphone. Swipe to the left and right, and you'll navigate through different screens which you can customize in the settings. Press and hold, then swipe to change your watch face. Clicking the upper button once will take you to the app list screen. Press and hold this button to power on and off. Pressing the down button will open the workout app. And now we are going to test the smartwatch's screen brightness. As shown, you can still pretty much see the screen even in broad daylight. The smartwatch supports wireless charging. You can connect the charging cradle to the USB Type-C cable. And according to its spec sheet, one charging cycle of the watch will last up to 2 weeks or 14 days for typical usage. Now we are going to test how far this charger can power up our watch. We are at 18% at 12 noon, and after 11 minutes of charging, we are up by 8%, giving us a battery percentage of 26. Alright, that is for our unboxing and a quick hands-on for the Huawei Smartwatch GT2 Pro. It is sold at 11,999 pesos and if you purchase one up until January 17 of 2021, you will have the chance to go home with a freebie and that is the Huawei Entertainment Gift Package I have here. The Huawei Entertainment Gift Package is valued at around 2,000 pesos and this comes in with three Three, um, items. With three items, we have a Huawei notebook, a retractable USB carry case, and a Bluetooth speaker. I think that's all there is. So again, thank you for watching up until this point of our video. This is Michael Pedemonte again, your Los Bisaya boy, and see you in the next video. Amping Panen. Ciao!